Welcome back and thanks for Metrocasting with us. You know, Metrocast, your cable television, internet, and telephone provider, has a multitude of employees all up and down the East Coast and in the South. All are carefully trained to keep your favorite programs available on your TV or your internet speeds as fast as possible and your phone lines crystal clear. The people who train our employees about these particular things are a special breed of person. We felt it was time that you were introduced to the guys who teach us how to do our jobs safely and efficiently. I was born and raised in New York, Long Island. Joined the Navy when I was 19. Got out when I was 45. Started working in cable when I was 46. And here I am at 60, 14 years later. I did do a couple of stints as a trainer in the service. And uh, I really did enjoy it. Uh, so when I uh, got out of the service, uh, a friend of mine went to work for a cable company and asked me uh, if I would interview for a trainer position. Uh, at the time it was uh, TCI in Hartford in uh, 1996 and I said, well, sure, it sounds like fun and uh, it's all history since after that. I'm a new trainer with Metrocast. I've been in cable uh, 26 years. I've been training 10 years and uh, Metrocast was a great opportunity for me, uh, for me to spread my knowledge around a little bit more and hopefully I can bring something to Metrocast, some advanced level training that, that hasn't really been uh, available to some of the techs in the past. I've been in cable for 37 years. I started in, uh, back in 1973 and worked my way from an installer up through the ranks of the technical uh, through the operations manager and then to a district manager and then to a regional manager. So I've been in all positions and in the uh, climbing the ladder I had the responsibility of training employees and uh, making sure that everything was operating correctly whether it was on the uh, administration side or the technical side. So got some experience in technical. So. Uh, we had a position come open as a technical trainer and here I am. The types of training we do is uh, we do a technical training, customer service uh, group training, we do technical training. Uh, we really kind of do it all, but the primary focus on is, uh, is safety training to make sure that our folks are in a work safe environment and, and, and know how to handle ladders and drive defensively and. Uh, can avoid electrical hazards. What do I have to do if I'm going to touch that black wire? I'm going to what? Use one hand. I'm going to what? Stay on my feet. I am not going to ground myself. And can I touch that black wire? Yeah, I can. I can do it all day long. Nothing happens to me. Okay? But if I was to touch this and that metal stanchion right there, I would light up just like that light bulb. <laughs> right? Because I've given it a path to ground and electricity is going to take it. You know, when I talk about electrical safety, I, I talk about it from uh, basically the tap into the home. And, uh, and we do cover, uh, you know, basic layout of uh, panel service inside a house and how an outlet works and how it's distributed and the feedback back to the street and how our drop is actually a parallel path for the neutral back to the street and there's current on that and how to safely avoid being shocked uh, without having any test equipment or PPE. And it's really fairly straightforward, but if nobody ever tells you, you wouldn't know. So I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with our electrical safety uh, program. In fact, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was asked to speak at an SCTE uh, chapter meeting in, in Vermont and present the electrical safety that we do inherent communications and at the end and, and this is this is kind of a this isn't a plug or anything but at the end of it I had 19 guys there and and the very least had 20 years cable experience and at the end of it they gave me a standing ovation after three and a half hours and they all came up to me and said I never knew this I never knew that uh, so it was really kind of nice to hear that folks who had been in the business a long time uh, that I actually gave them something that, uh, that they didn't know and could use. 
So that was very fulfilling. Um, you have to be able to talk to people and you have to be able to uh, communicate and sometimes you have to communicate some pretty abstract ideas and theories so that they can use it in the real world and kind of get an understanding of what you're trying to say and get across to them. I like to see the progress, I like to see the fulfillment, uh, the, the growth of the new heart that works his way up and someday maybe he'll be able to become a, a trainer or a uh, technical supervisor or, or maybe even a regional manager, who knows? Generally when I'm home, uh, this probably doesn't sound right, but I don't watch a lot of TV and I don't have a lot of hobbies. Uh, I usually just, you know, help my kids and work around the house and do honeydews, which I'm very happy doing. But uh, I mean, the travel at times gives me a break and, and sometimes I do take my wife with me. So, uh, which she enjoys because it gives her a break out and, uh, you know, sees this part of the, you know, Northeast or, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, she's very, uh, she seems to be very happy that, uh, that I'm satisfied with my job. And of course that makes it easier to, uh, you know, to be happy together. So, but yeah, we have three kids uh, <clears throat> and they all live in the area that I live in up there in, uh, in Connecticut. And the best part of my job is that uh, when I'm in Connecticut, I'm just uh, three miles from my office, which I spent a lot of years doing a lot of traveling, uh, you know, an hour each way to work and, and going cross country and just a lot of time traveling. So, I mean, uh, it, it's really nice working in the same town that I'm living in. I am covering Virginia, South Carolina, Maryland, and Pennsylvania is, the, is my area. In my previous position, it was 100 miles round trip to work every day. Now it's, if I'm working in my home office, it's seven miles. And if I have to travel out of my home office, that's okay, I only have to do it maybe once a month or so. And it's job satisfaction too. You know, uh, I know that uh, I enjoy what I do. And at the end of the day, I, I, I look back and I think of, uh, you know, what did I do right? What could I have done better? You know. Uh, and just kind of do it with a smile on your face, you know, with a good attitude and, uh, you know, just simply do your best day to day and everything else seems to, you know, fall in place. I, I really like Metro Cass. I like everyone in Fraser. Uh, been, seems like a family, you know, it's just good people. Uh, they got good plans and the future looks bright. My experience so far has been great. This is such a wonderful company to work for. Um, I like that it's a smaller company and, and I'm me instead of just a number. I came from some of the big cable operators and, uh, and they were great places to work. Uh, but as far as, as support from my immediate uh, uh, management team, I, I haven't enjoyed this support at uh, the other major cable operators I've, I've worked for. I'm really pleased here working at Heron Communications Metrocast and I enjoy working with all the different systems. I mean, everywhere I go, it's, uh, I mean, people seem to go uh, out of their way uh, to support me and listen to what I have to say. And, and by the same token, I give them my best every, uh, every chance I get, I give them 100%. They are some good guys and some entertaining guys as well. Now, Metrocast services are available to you. All you have to do is call or log on to the internet for complete information about our cable television, internet, and telephone services available to you.